Apple cider vinegar for weight loss is all the craze nowadays. And if you're on social media at all, I'm sure you've seen the videos about it, but can it actually help you with weight loss? Hey there, I'm Dr. Josh Blutzinger, and in this video, I'll share why the quick fix weight loss fads don't work for everyone. And I'm also gonna show you my three best health hacks that can accelerate you out of the weight woes far more effectively than the exercise more, eat less yo-yo strategy. I mean, who wants a strategy that has no proven effectiveness and continues to leave them starving and irritable? So when it comes to weight loss, the first instinct for many is to get off the weight as fast as they can. So many people are looking for that quick fix. That's why when they see things like apple cider vinegar for weight loss or popular weight loss supplement burns fat in no time, they jump on the bandwagon. But when it comes to stubborn weight, it can be a lot more complicated than that. In fact, this is why people can get discouraged when they try some of these solutions that work for other people, but not for them. All the while, when someone is going on this weight loss merry-go-round, they're not addressing the personal metabolic factors that are keeping them stuck in the first place. And as I've said before, and I'll say it again, weight gain is a symptom of a deeper cause. Did you know that if your hormones are out of whack, no amount of apple cider vinegar or even exercise will help you to lose those stubborn pounds? Comment yes or no below and feel free to share what you've tried in the past. And if you find this content helpful, let me know by liking this video and or subscribing below. Now, if I could back up for just a second, there is a scenario where apple cider vinegar can help some people lose the bloat and perhaps a few pounds. In this case, a particular person may be suffering from a bloated gut. This is the result of low stomach acid and inability to digest their food, which can cause this midsection bloat and be perceived as extra weight. Then that anecdotal fix is to drink apple cider vinegar, but this is not something I recommend as a long-term solution. However, when most people hit a weight loss plateau or they have stubborn weight in certain areas in their body that won't seem to budge, a lot of things and a combination of metabolic dysfunctions could be going on. And this leads to my three best health hacks for addressing weight loss at the functional medicine level. Number one, balance your hormones. Situations like insulin resistance and or leptin resistance can be a driving force behind weight gain. Thyroid imbalance contributing to a sluggish metabolism. Estrogen toxicity leading to storage of estrogen metabolites. Adrenal stress and adrenal insufficiency leading to fatigue and lethargy, even blood sugar imbalance. Low testosterone playing a hand in fatigue and limited muscle growth. Low testosterone is also inversely proportional to insulin production. So all of these scenarios can lead to excess hormone storage, causing increased fat cell size, a sluggish metabolism, fatigue, and significant toxicities even on the best diet in the whole world. Number two, eliminate nutrient deficiencies and toxic burden. This is where the exercise more, eat less strategy can really create a detriment to metabolic function. On the eat less strategy, you deprive your body of the very nutrients needed to make energy and service tissue repair and exercise promotes a continual energy zap as well as a toxic environment built up of oxidative stress. And number three, know your food sensitivities. Being sensitive to certain foods can ignite the smolder of inflammatory and immune reactions. When you have hidden food sensitivities, the result is a continued microimmune response that leaves you swollen and inflamed and the body's inherent protective mechanism of retaining fluids is also on high blast. So when you find and correct the causative factors, you open the door to rebooting and recharging your metabolism. Gone are the days of starving yourself or exercising until you can't walk anymore. 
That's why a skilled functional medicine practitioner practicing a real functional medicine strategy can help address the weight woes once and for all. Go beyond the fads and the guessing. Go beyond the try this and do that diet and supplement strategy. Find the root causes and roadblocks and formulate a personalized treatment strategy that works for you. So thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in partnering with me to learn about how functional medicine can be the answer to the weight woes or chronic health issues, including type two diabetes and autoimmunity, click the link in the description below to schedule a free phone consultation with me. I'll see you next time.